Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another collection video from the Italian wing of the collection. We are talking of course this very nice Torino home jersey from the 2020-21 season. Uh, this jersey has been part of my second ever mystery exchange uh, which I did with Andy's football shirts and you can watch the entire exchange um, in the video link up there uh, basically we said okay let's get some uh, shirts exchange a little bit you know the theme was i think i gave andy a few teams that i would consider liking if i didn't want to say you know let's get a scots a scottish team or whatever just surprise me with an off kilter shirt for, no, not off kilter but with a shirt from uh, one of the top leagues that i'm uh, making and i sent team uh, teams that i'm looking for and among those teams, he very pleasantly surprised me. Although I was, I honestly was really hoping that it will be there, this Torino shirt. Because uh, this was in 21, and this was a time when I had been looking at getting a Torino shirt for quite a while. Uh, because to me, there were, you know, outside of the classic top teams. We are talking, of course, the top six, which is the two Milan clubs, it is Juventus, then you have the two Rome clubs, then you have Napoli, then there's usually a seventh team. But honestly, um, while you might, I would throw Fiorentina just ahead of Torino, but I think after that, to me, it's almost, it should be Torino considered uh, for the historical value. Uh, and so I knew that I always wanted to have Torino in my collection. Um, and I'm very happy that Andy got this one. I think he got it back then from classic football shirts. It's a really, really beautifully done jersey. It's very classic uh, Torino. Has a few interesting features and one that I can only mention to you, uh, but uh, there is a little bit more to it than meets the eye. And I think for that, I would say we'll have a little bit of a closer look at this shirt. Now, when we look at this jersey, uh, I mean, the first thing is the. <laughs> meanwhile, it's not so all uh, new anymore. But to me, when I uh, started watching Turin, of course, had an oval uh, crest like most Italian teams. Now they went to a shield with the bull in there. I actually do like the crest overall. The only thing that always was a little bit odd to me is the blue line under Torino. Of course, uh, El Toro uh, is, uh, is, of course, a symbol for the city of Turin and uh, Torino being the city team. Uh, it's basically Juve is an all Italian team. Uh, the people in Turin or Torino are more likely to support uh, Torino. Um, and yeah, it would be nice. They, had, they are now in the Olympics. They will be nice that near Philadelphia Stadium uh, would still be valid. Um, the one thing that always, it's a wonderful jersey. The, the only thing that I never understood why is the Beretta here? Yes, it maybe balances a little bit, and but you know, then at least put the Homer here, here, here in the middle. To me, this seems so misplaced overall. That's the one thing that annoys me with this jersey a little bit. Uh, but other than that, it's really, really nice. I got it in double XL. It fits rather loose. Uh, it fits very nicely. The color is kind of white. There, that's maybe the one thing. Uh, it says here Granata in una seconda pelle, which is a gr uh, Granata, which is the color here. Uh, um, is uh, like a second skin, which is really, really, really nice. Then you have a big bull here printed onto the side, which is a touch that Torino has been doing now for quite a while. But this is a touch that I absolutely love. This is something, you know, take, take, take the symbol of the club, pull it on, on the jersey, makes a very nice jersey. Uh, we have also some side striping here, which is actually quite sturdy uh, overall. But the biggest thing for this jersey, which is also, uh, it's blank on the, on the back, it is Torino, it, it still has the original tags attached, which is very nice. But the biggest thing is uh, that this jersey has a very, very soft and comfortable texture. I cannot expect, it's almost like a really well-worn t-shirt, very soft t-shirt. Uh, it's, it's a material that is really, really out there. It's also the reason why I have not worn this yet too, too much out, although I probably should, because uh, it's, 
I, it, it's a beautiful jersey overall a little bit of a ventilation patch here on the back but especially this feel this very organic feel I ha don't have another shirt like this I mean all the other soccer jerseys that they have um, you know you know the uh, polyester texture but this one has a very organic feel to it. it's almost like uh, old-fashioned cotton jersey which of course it is not because it is I think 100% polyester not sure if they say it here on the tag somewhere but I think it is probably on the inside uh, on the inside tag here let's check which is hanging out anyway yeah 100% polyester it is such a weird feeling honestly the other really really nice touch is that you have what you have here on the back Torino FC 1906 and I think this goes back to because Torino also went bust or something like that you know it's a typically Italian thing um, you have on the inside of the tail you also have the bull and the writing it's as I said it's a really really nice jersey the one thing that maybe is a little bit all is why is the shoulder a little bit darker than the rest of the jersey that's maybe the only odd thing but other than that I am very pleased that this is now my Torino jersey of course I would like to have a white one too uh, just to have both of them because Torino as I said is a team where this would that would really deserve uh, where that I have a second jersey of theirs unfortunately for Torino fans the 2021 season is probably one to not really remember because uh, after them having themselves established uh, in the kind of mid 2010s kind of as a mid-table team the 2021 season and they even they ended the previous season with a space and also thanks to uh, Milan not being in the um, Europa League they actually ended up in Europa League qual qual qualification where they uh, got eliminated I think it was Wolves if I'm not uh, totally mistaken but then it was a really 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 rough season where they just barely escaped rele relegation I think they secured their stay in Serie A with a draw at Lazio uh, I think it was a makeup game uh, but you know it was only one or two games left uh, very, very 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 late you had to, to really worry for Torino at that time um, fortunately they did make it and stayed in the league uh, the two players that probably uh, everyone I don't know will associate uh, there was of course Belotti there was Sirigu in goal and you know uh, as a Milan fan Ricardo Rodriguez also came back uh, again, uh, to Torino and played for them so that's only the one downside uh, to this one but I have to say overall I am really really enjoying the, the, this one uh, the classic grenade red with a little bit of white very nice nicely put maybe the color the previous season was a little bit more classy but I actually like it's a very modern take it's a really nice shirt and I'm very pleased to have this in my collection if you watch my Serie A reviews you see me you see this uh, shirt in almost every VAB video so it was definitely worth getting it any case please let me know what you think about this jersey if you have any Torino jerseys in your collection and I surely will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye